How is everybody doing today? So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the best selfie stick that I have for 2018. Here it is right here and let me show you everything that this selfie stick can do. Now the first thing is let me just go ahead and show you how small this is, okay? So this is how small it is right here when you close it all the way up and you can hook smartphones, action cams or GoPros, even cameras. And this also has a tripod on here as well. So first thing is, look how small this is. Now this is actually so small, and I'll show you how big it gets. This is the longest it gets right here. Okay, so take a look at this. And now when I close it all the way down, it becomes this small here. And it's so small where I can actually put this in my pocket right here, or what I usually do is I just keep it in my back pocket like this. Now this also has a Bluetooth remote too, and I'll show you the Bluetooth remote, which is right here. Now this is cool because not only is it stuck on the stick, but you can actually pull this out as well. So if you're wanting to take photos or anything like that, you, you always have the option of using a Bluetooth remote if you want to go back far, or if you just want to go ahead and leave it on here, that's fine. But for me, honestly, most of the time, I actually use the timer on the cell phone. And if you want to hook this up to a Bluetooth, of course, it doesn't matter if you have like an Android phone or use an iPhone. Another cool thing is too, is of course it's going to fit like a regular size phone in here. This is like a iPhone 8 right here. But it also is going to fit if you have a iPhone Plus. This is a 6S Plus here iPhone. This fits in here no problem. Even if you have a larger phone, a little bit larger phone, like this phone here is a little bit bigger. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. It's a little bit bigger than my iPhone Plus phone. You can see here, so this one's like a little bit bigger. Fits in here like no problem, just like that. And I still have some room as well. I can pull this up and you can see there's still some room if you have even a bigger phone. Now you also have a tripod on here. You basically just go ahead and open up the legs like that. And then you can go ahead and just whip that up just like that. Now what's cool about the selfie stick having this tripod here is you can actually rotate this 360 degrees just like this. You can also rotate this part as well. You can turn your phone in portrait mode or you can even turn it in landscape mode. Another great thing I like about the selfie stick too is if you guys are doing YouTube videos or anything like that and maybe you're doing something like in front of you, like for instance, let me just grab a phone here, let me put this on here. So if you're reviewing something like right below you, you, can, you have the option, you can always tilt this all the way down and you can actually move it so none of the tripod legs are showing like in the video. So you can go ahead and, you know, do like a spinner video, whatever. You can have this right here as you're speaking directly into the phone. You can see exactly what's going on. Or if I wanted to show myself, I can just simply go ahead and just pop that like right over here. Pretty much what I'm doing right now. And start doing my business like this. I'll show you the small side that goes down just like this. And this is the longest with the selfie stick here. Nice and tight too with this grip here. As you can see the holder right here for the phone. Now the thing is when you get this, you get several other components too. Uh, one thing is you get this other adapter here if you want to hook up like a GoPro or action cam or even a camera. I'm going to hook all those devices up on here and show you as well. And you also get like a micro USB charger here. That's to charge the Bluetooth remote on here. And of course it comes with an instruction manual as well. Now in regards to setting up like a um, GoPro or action cam, like I have several action cams here. These aren't GoPros. These are kind of like knockoff brands, I guess. But they all come in like different sizes. Like I have two different brands right here. One's a little bit longer than the other. And what I've realized is I don't have to really use this adapter here. I can simply just grab my action cam. I can put it in just like this right into the holder. Take a look at that. And of course, the same thing with the other one here. This one's a little bit like longer, but I have no issues popping this in here. Just like that, as you can see, then you can go ahead and you can do your business. Now, if for some reason you didn't want to use this like phone adapter to hold the uh, GoPros or action cameras, what you can also do is unscrew this just like that. And then this top part, the phone mount actually comes off and I can put that right here. Then I can go ahead and grab this other mount right here and I'll just go ahead and place that on right here. And this has that like one fourth inch thread screw. So you can hook up a camera or another action camera on there. So let me go ahead and tighten this up here. And then once you have this on here, if you want to hook up your action cam, 
It depends what kind of action cam you have or GoPro. Like some of them ha actually have the three fourth inch uh, screw already in it. Like this one has it. You can see like right here, this one doesn't have it. So obviously this one would just go on it naked. I'd simply just go ahead and pop this on here and I can go ahead and screw this on just like that. And this is definitely a stronger hold than this right here, but I'm still fine using this. But this one here, you can see. So let me go ahead and screw this one. Now the thing is, if you don't have one of these one fourth inch screws on your action cam, like this one doesn't, then you can go ahead and use the regular housing that it comes with. Like right here, you can see the one fourth inch screw there on both sides actually. So if I went on and just pop this in just like that, and then you can see that one fourth inch screw, I can just go ahead and screw that right onto here. Now also because we have this one fourth inch screw, if you basically grab like any camera or anything, if you look on the bottom of it, you should have this one fourth inch screw on there as well. Like there's one here, here's another camera I have right here. All your cameras should have this screw on there, okay? So now from here, I can go ahead and just pop this on. Go ahead and screw that in and bam, you're ready to rock and roll. And of course you can still use the tripod if you wish. Just go ahead and open up these legs like this and just put it down to wherever you want. I mean, I could put it like here, just like this, or I can go ahead and raise it up here. I can go raise it up here. And this would be the highest again that is gonna go up. I think the camera is out of frame, but you can kind of see how long that is again. And then you can get right back to business like this. And don't forget, like I mentioned, like this whole, this whole thing will actually like rotate too. And you can go like all the way down and then you can turn it all the way up like this as well. And again, here is a remote. If you want to keep the remote on the actual handle, or maybe if you're going to go far distance, you want to take photos, you can always pop the Bluetooth remote out. So this is a pretty handy selfie stick. And without a doubt, this is my best selfie stick that I have for 2018. So just a simple review. Hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will see you guys on the next one.